All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion at this hour. At least about three people have been killed after the Islamic State gunman reportedly targeted a prison compound in the city of Jalalabad in eastern Afghanistan. The assault began with a car bomb blast near the prison building, followed by two minor explosions. The blast is believed to have been the work of the Islamic State suicide bombers. The explosion was followed by a direct assault by gunmen. The government deployed security forces in the area, resulting in an hours-long standoff. The death toll currently stands at three, with at least about 24 other people having been wounded. Now, according to the provincial government, the death toll is likely to rise further. Dozens of prisoners are also reported to have escaped the prison during the gunfight. The Sunday's attack came just a day after the Afghan security forces neutralized a senior ISIS leader near Jalalabad. Now, eastern Afghanistan has long been considered a stronghold of the ISIS militants in the country. Afghanistan had enjoyed a relatively a peaceful weekend thanks to the three-day Eid truce between the government in Kabul and Taliban. The reports indicate that there were no major violations by either side over the three days. The government has also urged the Taliban to extend the truce and, is, and begin the intra-Afghan peace talks immediately. The major contention between the two sides is a controversial prison, prisoner swap agreement. The US Taliban peace deal has called for the release of about 5,000 Taliban prisoners in exchange for 1,000 Afghan security personnel. The government says that they have released more than 4,900 Taliban prisoners, but the government is hesitant to release the prisoners who stand accused of serious crime.